Welcome to Sue's Cooking Easy Things, Director Guy. This is a book that I came across from my collection. It's called Best Recipes from the Backs of Boxes, Bottles, Cans, and Jars. I'm going to see how I can wreck this thing up because I'm a rebel and I never follow a recipe, but I'm going to write the real recipe down in the description bar, and I'm loosely going to follow this recipe. It's called a Mexican Turkey Bake, and if you have this book, it's on page 144. Or if you want to look it up on the web, you can look up Best Recipes from the Backs of Boxes, Bottles, Cans, and Jars by Seal Dyer. You're going to order it on Amazon, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm not promoting this book. I am making a Mexican turkey bake my way. So, that's what we're doing. So, what we're going to do without further ado, I feel like this big green bowl is taking up the whole screen, and probably because it is. Now, when I say I don't follow directions, a lot of times I just use what I have on hand because I never seem to have all of the ingredients ever. Even if I just went to the store, I'll always forget something. So I used up what rice that we had left. It's probably about two or three cups of rice. And I cooked it in the microwave with water until there was no more liquid. And we're just going to put all the rice, plop, 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 fizz, fizz. Oh, where do I make fizz? We're going to put that rice into my big green bowl because there's like a reason for it, you know. Now we got one can of green enchilada sauce, and that is going in. And then we're going to use some frozen corn. And I'll probably use not a half a bag, probably like a quarter of a bag of frozen corn. Then what we have here is I had what is it? I steamed the three jalapeno peppers. And I took most of the seeds out. There's still going to be a few seeds left, but that's just, it's okay because we can stand the heat. And then I just took, they call us, the recipe calls for three cups of turkey. Now this is a great way to use up your holiday leftover turkey that we have in the freezer. I used just a freezer bag. I don't know the measurement, probably like, you know, two and a half, three cups, something like that. And the turkey is going in. That's that moist turkey too that I made in the oven bag. Okay. So now what we're going to do, why does that smell like pumpkin? Why does that smell like pumpkin? Is it just because I was talking about the holidays? I don't know. But anyways, now what we're going to do is we're just going to stir all this up and get it all mixed in good together as per the recipe. And if it's too juicy, We'll just have rice soup, and it'll be lovely, turkey rice soup, but I don't think it will be. I think it'll work out, so I'm just going to mix this up. Oh, I have to add some more garlic, because I love garlic. I have to put my garlic powder in there. Oh, yeah. Yes, it has to have I mean, it has to. Okay. So that's mixed up, and I already happen to have a greased casserole dish ready for you. So I'm going to see how much of this collaboration, collaboration thing I can fit into my grease casserole dish. And this will go into my preheated 350 degree oven for one hour. Rob will be not only my producer today, but also my timer, him in Surrey, his other girlfriend. Now Rob is going to put on the timer for one hour. Now. Siri, set the timer for one hour. Okay, I see it. Just remember, and watch that boil. Huh? A wash pot. Well, it never does boil. Okay. A wash iPhone never boils. Oh, a wash iPhone. I never checked for that for boiling. Nope. Okay, so it's going in the oven now, and I will come back. I'll have the full taste test and everything when I come back. And we'll see how this baby turns out. But you know what? It looks pretty, really, really good right now. So we'll see how this baby turns out. Stay with me. I haven't tasted it. Shoot. Okay, so there is my dish. It's done. It's bubbling hot. And I'm going to get myself a spoon to dish some up. Now, the recipe said that you're supposed to decorate it with additional peppers and put some sour cream on top. I'm not going to decorate it. But I am going to put some sour cream on top, and I'm also going to melt some Colby cheese on it. So I'm going to get this, like, I'm going to heat it up in the microwave because I always, I ha here's a weird fact about me. Uh, right after.
after it comes out of the oven, it's still not the right texture. It has to be a certain way, so I always microwave it. Don't ask me. I'm a strange girl. So anyways, I'm going to put this in the microwave, melt my cheese, add some sour cream, and then come back for a taste test. So join me, will you? Mm. Ow! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> that was friggin' hot! I microwaved it. It's like, wow. Scorching now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. I need my upper glove bad. Okay, so I'm gonna do my taste <laughs> after scorching myself. What I have done is added sour cream sriracha sauce. It is nice and piping hot. But it's got like a little bit of the crust. See, I'm, I always microwave my food after because I like it to form like that crust on the outside. It's just, you know, because the burnt parts kind of turn into caramelized. It turns into sugar and it's better tasting. And it's Here I am explaining my weirdness again. So I'm just going to do a taste test, but I just have to talk because this has to cool down just a bit. It was like way, way hot. Okay. I like it. You know, the recipe called for green chilies. I had jalapenos. They worked out fine. This is a great kind of a Mexican type inspired dish, but it's good. I like it. I would give it two thumbs up. One up, up, thumb up and one regular thumb up. Ow, I just burned myself. So anyways, uh, thanks for joining me. That's just quick and easy. Give this recipe a try sometime. I will write it down in the description bar. That bell means it's time for us to go eat. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.